Hello, welcome to another Power 3D tutorial. In this tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how to um, approximate the surface in 3D Max um, with the Voronoi mesh. For this tutorial, you need to have Power 3D 4.6 or higher installed on 3D Max 2013 or higher. Here, as you can see, I have um, I have sort of base surface which I created using um, a low polygon mesh and then a turbo smooth on top so it gives me this sort of uh, smooth uh, surface that I can work with and and then on top you have this Voronoi lattice which is um, w which has been done using Power 3D so it's, it's kind of parametric I go back to my edit poly and I move some vertices up and down I can get my surface update and I can just click on update para and I can get the Voronoi diagram updated so let's get started. Um, we open our Power 3D. All right, and um, uh, as you can see, it's, um, it's a pretty simple graph. But there's just um, three uh, three nodes over here. So I'm going to delete these two because I'm going to do them um, from scratch. We don't need the s uh, members, so we can just say uh, no. Okay, so I left with my original surface here. Um, this surface can be <coughs> we can use any um, any surface that works with the a surface controller in two two D domain. Which uh, I'm not sure what kind of surface can go there. Um, what kind of surface can be used for this tutorial? I recommend you look up on our website and search for surface controller, and you'll find a tutorial that explains what type of surface you can use it in as a 2D domain. You can fit it into the surface controller. To create a variety mesh, you need to create a parametric mesh. In older version of Part 3D, we could uh, create a parametric mesh from uh, by clicking on this, so you can just click on Para, and then you can choose Create Mesh, and it's going to create a parametric mesh. But if you do that, it will give you the. Um, I'm just going to create one, and it just gives you the old parametric mesh node with the uh, parametric mesh uh, settings over here. But in Para 4.6, if you come under the container and then you run and then you choose parametric mesh, uh, it's going to give you different options. Um, the first option is obviously the parametric surface which is, was, which is exactly the same thing over here, the old uh, parametric mesh. But you can choose between uh, different methods of generating mesh, which one of them is Voronoi surface, uh, which um, I'm going to, to use for this tutorial. And these options are one-time um, selection, it means um, once you select one of these options then the, the settings for that particular method will be shown here and you can go back. Um, so now for this tutorial I'm going to use Voronoi surface and once you choose that as you can see the setting over here um, is now different than what it used to be for a parametric surface. So this now is going to generate a parametric um, Voronoi mesh over a surface. So all you need to do is to connect your surface controller to that and make sure you have selected the surface that you need um, to um, generate the Voronoi diagram on it and um, and then you can you can update. So as you can see I have already a pattern but the um, the pattern does not follow or does not approximate my surface um, um, in some points uh, and the reason is that I have not set the resolution of the Voronoi mesh. Um, ob obviously um, the, ten, the, two, the 10 vertex in D1 it works very well the, the surface is, does follow the, um, the base surface um, but in D2, I don't. I just have two words. That's why it's giving only uh, sort of straight line. So I increase that to 10 as well. So now I have a um, I have a smooth surface uh, with a Voronoi uh, pattern on it. Um, so, um, to see this better, I can just isolate this one. Um, we'll take a look at the uh, settings of Voronoi mesh. These are pretty much same as the NURB surface approximation settings which you can find in 
and your um, in in 3D Max when you're working with nerve surfaces. For example, the edge length can um, you can say it's uh, it's it's the the maximum the um, uh, the maximum edge length that you can get in your Voronoi uh, diagram. So um, if I decrease that to 10, you probably get more um, more divisions because then the edge length is limited to to 10 units. Um, also, where the angle is um, greater, um, the angle between the two uh, edges is um, uh, is greater than. Uh, 15, uh, a 15 a 15 degree then it will create um uh, one more uh, division there or uh, create a or divide the surface uh to basically um approximate the curvature of the surface so if we increase that uh we if we decrease that to 5 then we get like sort of more division where we have in terms of uh, where we have more curvature so it's more um, related to curvature of the of the surface um, and also the maximum number of triangle which um, it refers to the number of faces which you're going to have in 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 this um, Voronoi mesh um, uh, it's limited to 1000 so uh, it's basically a limit to for all the settings um, so if if those settings require like more than 1000 it will stop creating um, uh, extra triangles and it will stop at 1000. You can increase that if you need more um, or s sort of higher resolution. So uh, let's say I want to make a lattice out of this and see how it works. So um, you can always create a reference copy of this using parametric array a reference and then I'll connect that to my reference copy and now I'll select the this reference copy and then I use lattice and we use only edges, reduce the thickness, and this is my Voronoi lattice. So if I go back to my surface, the original surface, and we, we can edit that in terms of um, uh, it's hidden, so let's turn it on again okay um, let's go back and um, move these vertices up so that's kind of uh, it's a new surface uh, okay well let's go back and update our surface controller and you can see that it updates the Voronoi diagram as um, as we change it um, yep so so that's it yep it's pretty simple and easy to use hope you guys enjoy working with part 3d 4.6 thank you